Hey guys, welcome to the seventh episode of JavaScript Oops under the hood. And in this episode, we are going to implement inheritance using the new keyword. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's have a look at the example and we will use the code snippet from episode four. So we are having a function, my uh, create customer, accepting name, account balance and branch. We are adding add money and fetch balance to the prototype of create customer function. And we are calling create customer to create a customer one, which is a very generic customer. Next, we are cre creating a function named as create salary user in which we are accepting name, account balance, branch and a new uh, parameter that is salary. Then we call uh, create customer function you via the call method. We will see how that works. Uh, we attach salary to the this property. Next, you can see we are doing a little new stuff. On the next line, you can see a very similar code we have used before. That is object dot set prototype of, and in this we are setting the prototype of create salary user dot prototype and making it to refer to create customer dot prototype we will also see in the diagram uh, what role this line is playing and in the prototype of create salary we are attaching uh, the fetch salary function next we are calling create salary function and we are getting the response in customer 2 and we are doing custom customer 2 dot add balance dot fetch balance and fetch salary Okay, so let us now uh, run through the code. So in the global memory, we will be uh, adding our functions and variables. So let's do that. We're having create customer function, which is a function, but this is also an object. And this object by default is having a prototype property. This property is also an object and on line 7 we in this prototype object we are adding two functions which is add money and fetch balance and fetch balance this is also a function great next we are um, are having function uh, create salary user this is also function and an object with the prototype and in the prototype we are setting fetch salary great now we are having a function call which is for the variable customer one and we don't know the output yet so we'll start uh, creating the execution context so we are having customer one equals to new customer one new create customer property alex hundred x y z this is the local memory of the execution context and here we are having the first thing first we will be signing uh, the arguments to the parameters so name alex count balance 100 and branch xyz next we will execute this new variable this will automate few things for us that is it would uh, create an empty this object so we are having this object which is empty and this will by default set the proto to the prototype let's use the blue one this would set the prototype proto to the prototype of create customer function great and this is and we will be setting uh, properties inside the this uh, object 
So we are having name as Alex balance hundred by Z. Then one the next thing that the new keyword executes for us is that it returns this object over here. So this object will be returned up here and in the customer one we will have Alex and count balance hundred branch y z and the proto we are setting proto to the prototype of create customer function great so and we will execute customer one dot add money now javascript will look for customer one in the global memory it finds it we are using dot which means we are accessing the properties of this object javascript looks for add money in this object it doesn't finds it it goes to the proto and inside the proto that is referencing to the prototype of create customer function and in this prototype object we got our add money and we perform it so we yeah this time completed this whole process very quickly and now let's execute the same uh, for the create salaried user next we are going to execute the line 24 object dot set prototype of so as we know that object dot set prototype object dot prototype it takes two arguments one is uh, the argument one for which we have to update the proto and second one accepts the argument to which we want to refer to so as you can see we are in the first argument we are having create salaried user dot prototype so create salary user dot prototype is over here and the we want to set the proto of this prototype which is proto over here and we want to point this proto to the create customer dot prototype okay so let's make the lines over here so what eventually is happening now if we create uh, any user with create salary user and we want to access the functionalities that the create customer uh, function has so we can now utilize this proto chain to access all the functions in this prototype uh, from uh, create salary user so this kind of acts as a inheritance uh, over here that we are able to access the properties of create customer function from the newly created uh, create salad fun uh, user. So let's see this in action. Let's ex now let's execute the line uh, 30 which is customer 2 customer 2 and we are okay we don't know what the output is yet. So we'll execute the line customer two equals to new create salary user chain two hundred x y z and twenty. Let's create the execution context. So first thing first, we are going to uh, assign the arguments to the params. We are having name in. We are having count balance 200 branch xyz and salary as 20 right now we uh, are doing create customer dot call and by the way uh, we are having this new keyword so one the thing it will automatically do for us is to create and empty this object right this is what we have so in memory in the outer I'll say we'll come to that we are having this and now the proto of this this object will be by default linked to the prototype of create 
salaried user function so let's create the lines and meanwhile if you are not aware uh, how is this working then do check out my uh, previous videos on this so we are pointing it to prototype great now here comes the tricky part like what exactly is happening in create customer dot call and we are passing this with uh, other arguments as well so this uh, this would yeah eventually uh, call our create customer function but the catch is that this time this time we are not doing uh, create customer uh, like not we are not directly calling with these parentheses or neither we are using the new keyword before the create customer function call instead we are this time just using the call uh, method and by the way we are assuming that this call method is already there we have already seen this uh, how we can access call apply and bind property uh, in the functions it, it, it was explained in the very first video of this series if you haven't watched it then the links are in the description uh, do check them out so create customer dot call this and all so what it will do is it will create an execution context for us and things would be a little different this time so let's create one and when we are doing this function call by default the name parameter would be set to change the account balance be set to 200 branch would be set to xyz and we can see that line on the line number two we are doing this dot name this dot account balance and this dot branch but we don't have since we have not called this function with the new keyword so an empty this object would not be created right but we are doing this dot name this dot account balance and this dot branch on the this object so where is this coming from where is this this is coming from so uh, we can see that in the call function we are passing the reference of outer this great isn't it we uh, we are passing the reference of this this over here and we are saying hey create customer uh, whenever you are called the this uh, object would be now referencing to this uh, the to the outer this object uh, create uh, customer function says okay so whenever i am doing so create customer says that okay so now if i am doing this dot name equals to Jane. So this means I am not uh, assigning name to the this object of my own execution context, but instead this this object is the outer this which uh, the outer execution context of uh, create salary user function as provided so the moment uh, this execution context runs this line a side effect happens on side effect or we can say a ripple effect uh, that is happening on the outer this object so because we have passed the we have passed this object as a reference not by a value so the name property will come up over here also now the moment we do this dot uh, account balance equals to uh, 200 uh, i just use the abbreviated form over here so the account balance over here also a c c account balance would be 200 as well and if we execute this dot branch equals to branch then the branch over here would be also executed right this is this is the most tricky part we have in this uh, whole uh, concept and 
now i think we we have done this uh, the, we have done the tough part here comes the easy part we are doing this dot salary equals to salary which means the salary is now assigned as 20 and since we call and this execution by the way by uh, by the by this time this dot salary was called this execution context was done and it was removed and so was uh this also but yeah i mean that is a very very common thing and you guys must understand it like whenever the function call happen and it is something is returned out the execution context context is deleted right so i will not be mentioning that again so yeah and since we call this uh, create salary user with a new keyword so it will automatically do a return of this over here which means this object would be returned out to customer 2 so in customer 2 we are having an object with as Jane count balance 200 branch was XYZ salary was 20 and a proto this proto will be pointing to prototype of create salary create salary user great now let's uh, run this prototype chain which we have just run this whole prototype chain which we have just created so we are having customer 2 dot add money okay so javascript will now look for customer 2 in the global memory it finds it check we are using dot which means we are accessing the object portion and we are looking for add money function okay we, we we search javascript searches in the whole object doesn't find it goes to the proto in the proto it is looking to prototype of create salad user function and in this it searches for add money it doesn't find it javascript were disappointed and it goes to the proto of this object and this a uh, proto takes user to the prototype of create customer object which is having our add money function and it executes it so the salary of jane was now 201 great now let's execute another line which is customer one dot fetch balance so javascript searches for customer one in the story it is customer two JavaScript searches for customer 2 in the global memory, it finds it, uh, it searches for fetch balance function, it doesn't get, so JavaScript goes to the proto of this particular object, JavaScript goes and reaches to prototype of create salad function, in this prototype searches for the uh, fetch balance function, it is not there, again disappointed, JavaScript goes to the proto and this proto is taking JavaScript to the prototype of create customer function and here it fi finds the fetch balance great and i think this is this part so you might all get this part now which is customer 2 dot fetch salary so it is pretty simple javascript goes to the global memory searches for customer 2 in the object it doesn't find this fetch salary function it goes to the proto proto takes javascript to the prototype of create salary user function and in this we it finds our fetch salary and we print it so in this video we uh, learn about how we can use the new keyword to achieve inheritance and we got a more deeper insight of how we can use uh, the prototypal nature of javascript to achieve uh, inheritance feature and use it for our benefit and this was all in this video and i am super sure that you are very confident and you understand the concept of prototypes and proto in javascript so in the next video we are going to use the class syntax to achieve uh, inheritance so this was all in this video see you in the next one